and uh, I am the tanker base administrator for the 2010 fire season. I worked at Air Ops before, now Chief Martin's taken over for me, but we're starting our 17th year of our contract air program, which began in 1994, following the devastating fires of uh, 1993 in Topanga Canyon. So this is our tanker base. We lease from Lawa. Uh, we lease it through the CEO uh, real estate division. We pay about $5,000 a month for 2,700 square feet of office space and 1.2 acres of land where we actually park our helitanker and then the super scoopers will go to the left of the helitanker. The helitanker is on a 120 day contract. It's a board approved five year contract. We're in our third year of that contract. We pay them approximately $3 million a year to have the helitanker here anywhere from 120 days to 150 days. So it could be four to five months that we'll actually have them here. Um, the super scoopers arrive on September 1st. They come on an initial 90-day contract with the province of Quebec. That's also a board-approved contract. And those three aircraft, the two super scoopers and the one helitanker, make up our annual contract aircraft program. This is uh, Ericsson's S64E air crane. It's helitanker 743. The 743 re refers to the tank number. That's important to us on the ground because if we need to speak to the helicopter on one of our radio frequencies, we call it Helitanker 743 or Tanker 743. Uh, the name of the aircraft is Ichabod. Each air crane that Ericsson owns has a name. This one happens to be Ichabod. We've had Elvis in the past. We've had Hercules in the past. Uh, but this year we have Ichabod. So it has a 2,650 gallon tank. However, normally the max number of gallons that they actually pick up is somewhere between 1,500 and 1,800 gallons. Occasionally they can get to the 2,000 gallon mark. It's dependent upon how much fuel they have on board, how hot it is, and how high uh, they're operating, what the altitude is, because it's all dependent upon weight. There's two ways to fill the aircraft. There's actually three ways. There's a sea snorkel that you see on the, on the left side here. That sea snorkel rams water up into the tank. That's very important for fighting fires. Uh, in areas that are adjacent to the Pacific Ocean, like Palos Verdes, Malibu, uh, or Catalina Island, which is of particular interest to the supervisor. On the other side is actually a snorkel basket that comes down that has a hydraulic pump that can actually pump water up into the tank, and that can fill from any static body or moving body of water that's a minimum of 18 inches deep. We can also ground fill it uh, for operations, however, that takes a little bit longer, so usually we either use the sea snorkel or the uh, basket snorkel to actually fill the aircraft during firefighting operations. So this is a good shot of Ichabod from the, the front, the nose. You can see that the pilot windows, it has two pilots that actually fly the aircraft. The pilot windows allow the pilots to actually look out and see the ground below them, see where they're actually dropping. And this, this side also gives you a good shot of the snorkel basket and the flexible snorkel hose. That snorkel basket actually weighs somewhere between four and 500 pounds, so it's very heavy and uh, the, hydraulic, uh, the hydraulic fluid that runs the pump actually pumps the water up through that flexible hose and into the 2,600 gallon tank. But like I said before, it's normally anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 gallons. Looking up at, up at the tank on the Ericsson air crane, these doors are computer controlled. We have different coverage levels that the, uh, the pilot can select, coverage levels one through eight. Coverage level eight would be a lot of water. That's eight gallons per 100 square feet. That's a 10 by 10. Uh, area. Coverage level one is one gallon per hundred square feet. So obviously coverage level one is a lot less than coverage level eight. The doors open and close automatically to actually uh, gate the water as it comes down to control how much is coming out. So very sophisticated system.